Hello friends, this is Amit from Magnet and today we are going to recreate this scene. So this is the scene from the promo video that I released for my tree model pack. So the tree model pack is already online. So if you uh, don't have the model pack yet, you go to the video link in the description and you also find the download link from there like this. And once you download and install this pack, we uh, will able to create this scene. So go and download this thing now and uh, once you complete all the things let's go jump into the after effect so here in after effect you will see this is the scene that i create for the promo video so for this we create a new composition here composition new composition and uh, make it a full hd 1920 by 1080 and hit ok so everything is blank so now create a new solid uh, make it black ok so we need a element effect here so go over the effect and preset panel and here we find element double click on it and then we go to the element 3d UI so click on the scene setup and here is element 3d ui so for this we need a house and the trees and also the grasses so after you install the model pack you will find this folder uh, called magnet tree model pack and there you will find bunch of folders so it has the tree with leaves tree without leaves grasses and orchid custom objects bonus models etc uh, before we start uh, some friends reported that they have some issue with the custom objects that if we uh, click on the uh, first custom object here so mm, uh, some says that uh, the ground model it's uh, turned to red and it is hide and also the house so if you have the same problem uh, there is a simple solution so uh, once you uh, click on the model uh, custom object here and then go to the bonus model and just replace the ground with that one so uh, how you do that just click on that and it will appear here and also and you also hide the previous ground here so only see the uh, new one and maybe scale it uh, down to make it more uh, linear here and then uh, place it there in that custom folder and uh, same as the house like if we click the house here and hide the previous one and then place it here inside that custom folder so once you do that just uh, create a right click here and save model presets and go to the uh, custom folder here and uh, hit ok for save this so preset already exists overwrite it yes you can overwrite this overwrite it and then it will save here so that is how you fix that problem it is not an issue just uh, some mistake here um, so that is how you can uh, uh, fix this so now going to the actual tutorial okay so for the this um, scene we need uh, first we need the ground plane so going to the bonus model and select that ground uh, maybe we scale the y value down here a little bit okay and we need also that house okay like this so we uh, place this setup into a group 5 and we need a tree so we replicate it multiple times so maybe use that one and uh, and place it outside the folder 
so just click and drag so it will uh, came out from that folder and place it in a group one okay so uh, before uh, making the scene we make some adjustment to the texture or for the leaves here so click here and go to the leaf and we need some specular highlight for the leaves so reflectivity we uh, change the value here making a high contrast value here like this so you only need some areas to shine not enter the leaves so like this okay hit okay and now in the reflect reflectivity we increase the value uh, maybe 82 is looking good okay and now hit ok and go to the after effect so first we create a new camera for it uh, maybe 28 millimeter is looking good and select the camera tool here like this and go to the group one to replicate the tree multiple time so here we select the replicator shape to plane and increase the count here and increase the size also uh, scale shape also like this and maybe we down the size like this also increase the count and also scatter increase the x scatter and also the z scatter but not y scatter because it will look weird and also increase the count also like this maybe we change the random seed to make a better look like this it depends on you okay uh, now we create a, a white background for the scene well whatever you uh, want to use here but uh, for the sake of the tutorial I use the white background here a uh, may okay and go into the render setting we enable the fog and select that white color here like this and change the fog opacity to 100% and also fog fallout type to exponential and now increase the fog start distance like this okay Uh, maybe we change the random seed for the tree okay or maybe like this and now create a light so we create a parallel light and make the color to some warm color 
to make a sunset time view like this and increase the intensity a little bit and check the cast shadow switch here and hit ok now we change the position and also enable the shadow so going to the render setting and shadow enable it so also increase the parallel light shadow size here and shadow map size to 4k and also create a new ambient light Uh, make it 35% or maybe less so going to the light setting decrease that to 5% okay or uh, maybe you change the uh, tree placement like this maybe and also change the random seed here so just make it a good scene like this okay Or maybe increase the count okay looking good now we need some grasses so going to the scene setup again and go to the tree model pack and select the grass and orchid folder here so we need that one and place this to the group 2 and also make sure that we check the back face switch here ok and now hit ok so going to the group 2 that contain the grass and make it uh, the replicator shape to plane and also down little bit here and now increase the count and also the shape and maybe we change the render mode to draft to make it fast and make it little small size and also uh, increase the randomness here like this we increase the count okay so now give the tree little bit randomness so going to the group one and there is the particle look and we increase the particle size randomness little bit and also give a random rotation to the y axis so make it different and now go back to the full render here so now it look like this and also enable the ambient occlusion switch here or maybe increase the line intensity to 250% like this
so we already create a nice looking scene here so maybe we increase the tree count here so maybe it is 90 so So you will see it create a very nice scene. So now do some color corrections. So before we do that we make this in a single uh, composition to pre-compose this. Uh, hit Ctrl Shift C and hit OK. And now we create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to the effect magic bullet look and go into the edit so here we are in the magic bullet look panel select you can select so many color presets here not that one maybe that one look nice and also make some diffusion maybe make it little warm and hit ok but uh, maybe the uh, maybe change the background color here and also the walk color also okay and also enable the depth of field here and increase the focus distance and go back to the comp2 here and also um, add some noise so back in the look setup here and they are we can get the renoiser in the camera option so select it and maybe increase the grain amount like this and go to the colorista we decrease the shadow here and also decrease the highlight maybe increase the highlight little bit okay and hit okay so maybe go to the full resolution here so we are getting that scene but uh, not look like the original one because uh, you need some more color correction and uh, development and research for the correction and you will get the actual result 
but this is not all the all the time that we get the same result so this is how i create the scene maybe we use the uh, letter boxing here create the aspect ratio and 2.5 and also we so uh, I think you get the idea how I create this and now you also make some camera movement here so go to the uh, that uh, composition and make so create a camera movement I recommend that you create a null object for it and make it 3d and uh, parent the camera to the null object here and uh, for the best result you uh, first we create a uh, with uh, make the render mode to draft so it uh, look fast play faster and now bring the position value for the null and make a keyframe here and maybe a uh, five second or so change the position maybe like this okay and also make a rotation key mark for the camera so going to the beginning here make a keyframe for the y rotation here go to the last and make that uh, house into the middle of the scene so it look like that we orbiting the house here it's zero so let's see how it look like okay and that is how it look like or maybe we give some camera movement also camera shaking and so bring the point of interest value for the camera and make a keyframe that is a simple uh, uh, simple wiggle option here maybe use 2 comma 80 let's see how it look like now well not it is very shaky so we decrease the amount maybe 0.5 comma 40 look nice okay so it looks nice and now we back to the full render here okay so now we see how it look like when all the settings are on okay so this is how it looks like but without the motion blur so if you enable the motion blur it will look more nice but uh, for not now because if we on the motion blur it will very slow to render so you uh, have to on the motion blur when you all set up and ready to render so just uh, on the motion blur switch here uh, maybe we let's see how much sample we need here uh, maybe we increase the sample here to 24 okay 24 look nice so but for now we off the motion blur switch here and go back to the color correction section so maybe we decrease the background diffusion so going to the edit option here again and 
disable it because we already have one maybe increase the size a little bit and also give some contrast here so go new adjustment layer and here HDR HDR compounder compender I guess and <coughs> in in decrease the gain amount but increase uh, also decrease the gamma here like this let's see how it looks like in full resolution Uh, maybe we decrease the white amount for the background in half resolution here and also change the fog color And go back to the color correction section here okay so now we getting there uh, also you tweak some color correction to make it more realistic maybe use some presets here that all depends upon you so uh, this is how you can create this scene and uh, also you can uh, use some rock here uh, from the starter model pack that is also a free model for element 3d that uh, comes uh, in default with element 3d so this is how you can create this so friend uh, this is all for today and uh, i hope you like it and please download the model pack to create uh, this scene and many other scenes and upcoming days i also uh, make other tutorials from the promo videos and uh, if you uh, like my works please subscribe my channel and share my works so this is for today guys i am omit from magnet and i will see you next time